I, on the woodpecker today, I finally finished the concrete. Up until now, I had the yard dug up and the footing poured. And so were the concrete walls. Now I must prepare everything for the floor. The first thing to do is to remove two feet of sand inside the structure around the walls. This way, I'll be able to compact the sand deeper. We had so much fun that we decided to also dig up the dust extractors, pipes, ditches. When everything was dug up, I rented the jumping jack and compact the soil. René's job was to wet the sand to ease the compacting. And my job was compacting. was all done by layers of two or three inches thick. First wetting the sand and then compacting each layer. Then it was time to install the six inch dust collector pipes. I begin by lowering 245 degrees to make a 90 degrees elbow. Here you can clearly see that some fittings were not as straightforward as a simple elbow. Okay, this one was the most complex. Then, all the pipes were glued in place. I'm confident that everything is done perfectly. I have a sort of an engineer checking me out. Then, it was time to prepare the sand for the drain pipes. Alex, my daughter's boyfriend, came to help for a couple of hours. Here, he was compacting for one floor drain. During this time, René was putting ground wire around the dust collector pipes to prevent static. This was probably overkill, because they're already underground. But it's not the first time I go overboard with my build. Then I prepare the water drains by drilling a 4-inch hole and gluing the elbow with epoxy. When the drains were ready, we just needed to glue the pipes in place. In the end, the right side looked like this with all the pipes. Then we backfilled over the pipes with several layers of compacted sand. When it was done, we noticed that we had way too much sand inside. So we shoveled it all out. This was so much fun! This is what the interior looked like after the sand was removed. To keep this flat and smooth, I installed two garden sprinklers and let them run for half an hour or so. Then I rented out the vibrating plaque and compacted it flat. We checked that it was even all the way, adjusted the bumps and valleys, and recompacted it. We did that process three or four times. When it was to our liking, we installed a vapor barrier film over the sand. I taped it very carefully around the pipes and the floor drains. Then we installed the door cutouts on top of it. Again, the door cutouts were cut with a metal cutting blade. On each row, I changed their orientation to minimize the number of seams. Beware, working with door cutouts is really dangerous. You or someone you love can get her if you're not careful. Here come the pop quiz of the day. 
Which of these was the most painful door cutouts accident? The next morning, we installed the concrete wire mesh. I cut the mesh around each pipe and drain. Then, they were tied together with small pieces of wire. The last thing to do was to put some 2x8s in front of both door openings. Finally, we covered the old shop with this big 40 by 60 feet tarp. Then the rain began and it poured cats and dogs for the rest of the day and night. The next morning, I was very happy we had put this huge tarp over it. Otherwise, it would have been hell to get rid of the water between the vapor barrier and the door cutout. We ended up pumping out over 3 inches of water and this took more than an hour. Then, we were ready for the concrete floor. The wire mesh had to be pulled out at the same time the concrete was being poured. So, I took care of this. This way, a real pro had time to flatten the concrete. The last thing to do on the floor was to make two concrete door seals. That's the floor, just after it was finished. When the concrete was hard enough, I kept it wet for more than 24 hours. After a while, I was fed up of using a garden gun, so I used my two garden sprinklers. Finally, the concrete work is over. I can finally start on the real work, the woodworking part. So I invite you to come back to my next episode, where I'll be making sawdust on the woodpecker. <laughs>